I'm John Larson, Technical Trainer for EpiRock USA, Surface and Exploration Drilling. Today we're working with the FlexiRock D65, the proper way to start and stop the rig. After we've completed our pre-shift safety inspection on the rig, we can go ahead and turn on the battery, which is located right here on the cabin side of the machine, right underneath the canopy. Simply turn the switch from the off position to the on position, and now we can proceed to the cab. Here we are inside the cab, we have our RCS screen, the key switch, and the safety blue button right next to the emergency stop in the cab. We're going to go ahead, turn the key to the on position, and we'll let the RCS screen boot up. It does take a little bit of time, so be patient. Now we have our screen booted up, we can see that we're recording or receiving information from the ECM, but we have an emergency stop tripped. At this point, we push the blue button, which is located on the left side, next to the emergency stop in the cabin, and it'll make that go away. Here we have some codes. They will clear out if they pop up in the morning. It's now safe to start the machine. To stop the machine, we simply let the machine idle for several minutes before shutting down. Simply take the key switch, turn it to the off position, and now the rig shut down. After we shut the key switch off and the machine is shut down, we can proceed back to the master switch that we turned on in the morning. We want to wait two to five minutes before we shut the master off for the def tank to properly purge all the def fluid out of the system. After that's complete, we can shut the master switch off. If you need any further assistance, please contact your local EpiRock service center or dealer in your area.